11,000. That's roughly the number of homeless people in Colorado. So it's not surprising to see so many people in need of a helping hand. But what might surprise you Keep filling it up until it's like okay. overflowing. is what some are choosing to do about it. it. It's really unbelievable the amount of food that they bring. Four years ago, Jim Sharper launched this program called Feeding Denver's Hungry after his own bout with homelessness. I'm an alcoholic. The alcohol made me lose just about everything. But he managed to get back on his feet. And I started making 25 sandwiches in my kitchen. It's now grown to this. Dozens of volunteers dishing out fresh fruits, veggies, sandwiches, and so much more. Volunteers like first-timer Amber Hagedorn. Because it's important to help other people and to be selfless and just to give back in any way that you possibly can. This is more than just a meal line. It's a sidewalk market, if you will. They estimate they'll serve about a thousand people every other Thursday. Probably a thousand people today will take home about 20 meals a piece. If there's any homeless people in the Denver area that are starving, it's their own fault. They're not looking in the right places because Denver feeds very well. Tom Bohms, for one, has a grateful heart. These people go out of their way to help us. I say God bless you. A community taking care of its own. Hey, thank you so much for your help today. No One in 11,000 at a time. The motto is you have to be hungry. That's the qualification. So if you're hungry, get in our line. Russell Haythorn for the Now Denver.